Read or come on, Revelation 1 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. Now, John talks about the end time. The end time. We're living in the end time. The end times, we find the last days. The last days are in the end time. Now what do you find in the end time? You find high crime. Yes. You find no spine. Okay. And you find no time. Let me go over that. What we're going to find in the last days, we find high crime. Do you not know that it is a high crime against God to refuse his gospel? His son got up out of the graveyard and you refuse to believe in his good news that he offers to you. That is a slap in the face to God to reject his gospel day after day, year after year. But we live in this world. Come on, baby girl, control your phone now. Somebody got a phone ringing. Please, please, please. All right. Now, we live high crime. Amen, Wow. Now, but when we look at high crime, what do we see? We see no spine. No spine. People are spineless when it comes down to the word of God. The world can say what it want to say and do what it want to do. But we find Christians, no spine for his word. And then we find Christians no time mm -hmm. for his word. Amen. And that word, I meditate day and night. We're talking about the end time. Revelation 1-7 is going to be our key verse. Mm -hmm. Now, the first word in Revelation 1-7 is what? Behold. The last word is what? Amen. So, amen. The last word is what? Amen. Wow. Amen. Put it together, the first word is what? Behold. Look. Look. The last word is what? Amen. Amen. John says, I got something to show you. Behold. Yeah. And I guarantee you what I got to show you. Uh -huh. After you get through looking at it, you gonna say amen. What you say? What are you gonna show us, John? Uh -huh. I'm gonna show you the future. What? Uh -huh. What's in the future? Uh -huh. He's he coming with a cloud. The future is he's coming uh, with, with, with cloud. Again, uh -huh. I said, what do the future hold for America? The second coming of Jesus Christ. Uh, what do the future hold for you? The second coming of Jesus Christ. Mm. We're seeing shootings on the highway. What? You better make sure when you're in your car, you're smiling all the time. Uh, if they bump you, you better keep on smiling. Amen, Wall. Because somebody got a gun ready. Amen, Wall. And it ain't like a nigga with a trigger. Amen, Wall. You don't hear me. A nigga with a trigger. Because he's going to pull the trigger. Amen, Wall. And sometimes you got to pull the trigger. Amen, Wall. It is going to be you or them. Amen, Wall. We're living in a wild, wild west. Amen, Wall. These last days. How can we please God in these last days? How can we please God in these last days? I'm going to give you three L's and I'm going to give the message to you. How can we please God in the end times, which is the last day? Everybody is affected by the devil's poison. Ain't nobody running rampantly but two personalities, God and the devil. Either you line up with God by faith or you line up with the devil, amen, wall. But what can we do to please God in these last days? Number one, we must look for his coming. Mm. The Bible says, Revelation 1, 7, Behold, the word behold means look. He cometh 
clouds. With clouds. Now I'm gonna park there. When Jesus comes back, he will be visible. He will not be hiding. He will come riding on the cloud. Now you better check that out. Who made the clouds? Jesus Christ is creator. He made the clouds. Once he made the clouds, he turned around and began riding on the cloud. Amen. Wow. He says, when I come back, you're going to see me. I'm going to be riding on vapor, monster, water. Amen. Wow. You do know a cloud ain't nothing but water. That's all a cloud is. Then we see the same Jesus walking on water in the river, in the lake. So it don't matter where the water is, he can ride on the water because he's Lord of Lord and King of King. I'm lifting up Lord. I'm lifting up the Lord. Uh -huh. I'm not lifting up a second fiddle. I'm lifting up someone that you must look for. He says in these times that we're looking, living in, he says look. If you want to please God, look. you got to look to his coming, amen, wall. Uh. Number two, how can we please God in these end times, last days? Not only we must look for his coming, mm. but we must live for his coming. Kind of quiet. Uh -huh. He said you got to live something. Mm. He said come out from among them and be ye separate, said the Lord, amen, wall. Now when Jesus come back, on those clouds, why is he coming back? He's coming back for separation. That's all he's coming back for. The wheat and the tail are together now. We are running with wolves. We're running with lambs and in walls. We got all kind of folk in the church. But he says, when I come back, your future, I'm coming to separate, put one on my right and one on my left. That is why he is coming. It's Amen. not like the pre-millennials uh, teach that he's coming up to set up a kingdom yeah. and he's going to rule a thousand years. That's just a bunch of foolishness. That's false doctrine by men. Amen. Well, Jesus, when he comes, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, that when he come, he's going to come with a trump. Now that means everybody in the future will hear him. Amen. Wow. That's right. Now listen to me. How must we live? We must look to his coming. Amen. Uh -huh. Wow. Now, what must we do? We must look to his coming. Not only for that, we must live for his coming. Amen. Amen. Well, we've got to live something. If you talk it, you got to walk it. Amen. Wow. Kind of quiet. Am I in Bible country? Mm. Do we know Jesus in here? Amen. Do we not know that Jesus has requirements for his children? One of the requirements is you got to repent of your sin. You cannot stay the same. Amen. Well, you got to make that change. Then lastly, not only must we look for his coming, but we also must live for his coming. And then we must leave his coming with us. In other words, God put believers here to warn others about what is coming. The Bible says in Matthew 24, verse 3, And as he sat up on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. And, and said, when shall these things be? Amen. Whoa. And what shall be the sign of thy second coming? Amen. Whoa. Come on, he said, I'm going to give you a sign. Give it to me, preacher. The sign is lawlessness. What? Nobody going to obey the law. Everybody just going to get out and start shooting their guns they, in broad daylight. That's where we are. We live in a world of lawlessness. And so we close with this. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. He's coming again. How is he coming? I, I'm closed. He's coming with the cloud. Uh -huh. 
Revelation 1 7. Behold, he's coming with clouds. Not only he's coming with the clouds, but he's coming with the angels. What angels? Not just any angel. The angels will accompany him. They will be riding on the clouds. What kind of clouds? What kind of angels are coming? Holy angels are coming. Come on, preacher. And they're coming for a holy church, a holy people that were consecrated to our Lord Jesus Christ. When he comes, he coming with the clouds, he coming with the angels. Uh -huh. He's coming with power. Amen. Wall. He's coming with a trumpet. Yes, Gabriel gonna blow that horn. Amen. Wall. And he's coming with pardon. Amen. Wall. Who will he pardon? He will pardon those that believed him on earth. Amen. Well, that's the key. You got to do it on earth because after you die, it's too late. Can I give you some book? Revelation 22, 11. He says, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is unjust, let him be unjust. Still, amen, wow. In other words, you've got to make your move for God down here right. on earth. Because after death is what? The judgment. Are you ready for the judgment? When Jesus comes back, that will be the judgment. Now, my last minute, watch what he says. Revelation 1 7, come on. Behold, he go. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Now hold it. I'm through. When he come, every who gonna sin? Every eye. Every living eye gonna sin. Mm. Who else gonna sin? And those that not, him. not only every living eye, every resurrected eye. Because when he come Man. back, everybody's getting up Man. out the graveyard. Amen. Amen. Every eye going to see him. Those that were dead, those that are alive, they going to see the Lord Jesus Christ. Then he says a special group going to see him. That special group is that group that speared him in the side. Y'all going to see him. You think you got away? You ain't got away. No, you, you speared me in my side. That was unnecessary. But scripture had had already prophesied that they would pierce me in my side. Uh -huh. I tell you, I'm fired up. Jesus uh -huh. Amen. is coming again. Uh -huh. I said, Jesus is coming again. Uh -huh. Now, he's coming to give some pardon, and then he's coming to give the other group a prison sentence. What you right. Come on, come on. One will get pardon, uh -huh. and the other will receive prison sentence Forever in eternal fire called hell. Mm. Now, so all of us in here, as I close, what are we facing? Whether we want to face it or not. We're facing the second coming of Jesus Christ. He is our future.